A Houston mother is demanding answers tonight after she says her six-year-old son was repeatedly sexually assaulted while riding the school bus. An investigation is underway right now in Aldean ISD. ABC 13's Maya Shea joins us live with these serious allegations, Maya. Yeah, these allegations are so disturbing, and the mother says she believes it's gone on for several months, but it wasn't until her son lost his backpack last week and she called here at the transportation department to get to the bottom of this missing backpack that everything came out into the open. Latoya Stormy Monroe is devastated. She says she had no idea that her six-year-old son was being sexually assaulted on the school bus. I feel like as a parent, I fell my child. It hurts. I didn't protect him. I, I don't know what to do. Monroe was joined by community activists today in front of the Aldean bus bar to discuss what they believe happened, that over the past several months, an older child would repeatedly molest and sexually assault Monroe's son on the bus and that the bus driver didn't notice. According to the investigator, the bus driver stopped the bus because she thought they were fighting on the back of the bus, but this mother's child was fighting because he was being raped. Monroe says everything came to light last Tuesday when efforts to track down her son's missing backpack led school officials to look at surveillance video on the bus. Then she got a call. I get to the school and I find out that my son was sexually assaulted. Days of, of questioning, days of talking to my child, the details became more and more graphic each and every time. Since then, her son has been treated at the hospital and they've spoken to investigators. In a statement, the district says in part, an investigation by Aldean ISD police and district officials immediately began on Wednesday, February 1st. CPS was notified. Once the investigation has concluded, appropriate action will be taken based on investigation findings. Meanwhile, Monroe says her son doesn't even fully understand what happened. He's not really at his age understanding the magnitude. He actually really stated that, um, why couldn't this kid be given a second chance? If God gives second chances, why couldn't the perpetrator? Monroe says she hopes her speaking out today will get her answers and justice for her son.